Welcome to This Must Be Heard, a recurring podcast featuring discussions of Delaware County Community College's events, achievements, and initiatives. Today, Yegna Rangabachala speaks to our guest, Professor Lauren Donovan from the Business Administration Department. They will discuss the business administration major offered at DCCC, transfer opportunities, and career prospects. Thank you for listening. And welcome to This Must Be Heard. I'm Yagna Rangavajla, your host for today. In this episode, we're discussing about business administration as a major at Delaware County Community College. I'm here today with Professor Donovan, a business professor and coordinator for our business programs at Dalco. She has been with DCCC for the past 12 years and teaches principles of marketing and business communication courses. She also advises business students on selecting the right major, course registration, and careers in business. How are you doing today, Professor Donovan? Oh, I am well, Yegna. Thank you so much to you and to the New Media Lab for hosting me today. That's amazing. Great. So let's get started off with today's episode. Um, Professor Donovan, I was hoping to you know, start this episode with by asking you what type of business majors are offered at DCCC? Yeah, so at Delaware County, we have two business majors. We have the first one is known as Business Administration or BUAD, which is our most popular major. Um, and that major uh, prepares students to transfer once they finish to a four year baccalaureate program. And then we also have our general business major. And that major is designed for students that want to develop business knowledge, business skills, business acumen, but they don't necessarily have an interest in transferring to a four-year school. Well, um, me, myself, as a business administration major student, when I was apply applying at Delco to mm -hmm. major in business administration, I did notice we had general business and BUAD as two different yeah. departments. So um, what exactly is the difference between the, the two majors? I know you did tell us. I was hoping if you could elaborate a little bit more for us. Yeah, absolutely. So and you're not alone. It, it can be incredibly confusing. Um, and so uh, I often find that students may start in the general business major, but they have plans of going to Temple and transferring. And so we have to, as their advisor, make some movement to get them into the business administration major. So it's a very common um, you know, misnomer or misconception about which major you should be in. Um, when you're taking business administration courses, you're in essence taking a lot of the general education courses that the four-year school that you're planning to transfer to would require anyway. And in addition, you're also taking basic business courses like principles of marketing and principles of management and statistics. So you are essentially completing gen eds and basic business courses that are designed to prepare you for a degree in marketing, accounting, finance, HR, and so on. It's a little different than our general business major. Um, while there's still general education courses that you take in general business, um, you are uh, you know, being exposed to all sorts of different business courses that are designed to get you directly in the field of business and working in, for example, you know, retail as you know a store manager or something like that. Well, um, I know we are talking about associate degree, but um, mm -hmm. I was hoping to ask you about you know different types of certificate courses that we can take under this major and what are those offered at Delco. So within our division, we also have what are known as certificate programs. And an increasingly popular uh, certificate program is our certificate in human resources management, which is um, relatively new. Um, and students that enroll in the certificate for uh, human resources management, they have an interest in, you know, working in a field where they, um, you know, they participate in all the activities associated with managing the human resources at a company. So things like, you know, hiring and recruiting and selecting and training and compensation and all of those features. So it's becoming an increasingly popular field to study. Um, and students who come to Delaware County will either come with a degree in some other uh, discipline and they want to focus on HR, or they might be currently working in human resources management and they want to further advance their knowledge in that field. The other uh, certificate that we also offer is our office administration certificate. 
And that particular certificate focuses on helping students develop skills in Excel and Word, um, along with admin business administration to help prepare them for jobs as administrative assistants. Well, that's 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 incredible. Um, I just wanted to go back to our previous question. I, I, I want to talk about cred transferability of credits of business administration major at Delco. Yeah. Uh, what is the scope of business administration degree at an undergraduate level? Yeah. So, you know, when I advise students, this is something that comes up all the time. They're always wondering, like, what what do I do after this? Right. I, I, I'm not sure. Should I get into marketing? Is accounting my thing? Is it business analytics? Um, and if you're a business administration major here at Delaware County, you have the option of going on to a four year school with whom we have a partnership with um, and choosing to specialize or focus on a specific discipline in business, whether it be marketing or management or HR or accounting. Um, and so those institutions with whom we have a relationship with, it's called a program to program relationship. They will take all of your credits as a business administration major, and you'll be able to start at that four-year school in that concentrated major, having carried all of the credits from DCC. So you're essentially entering as a junior. Well, I think right now, even I'm in that process of, you know, transferring my credits from Delco to a four-year university. Sure. And trust me, it's a very big process, you know, like finding out the good college and, you know, yes. different aspects. So I was hoping to ask you about, you know, what, which colleges around the area take in the cre transfer credits of business administration major from Delco? Right. So, I mean, the most popular schools that that our students transfer to are Westchester University and Temple University. But there are a whole host of four-year schools that we have articulation agreements. And when I say articulation, that means Delaware County has sat down with that four-year school and we've had an we've made an agreement. So what I typically advise students to do is to use an amazing tool called transfer check. And transfer check can be accessed very easily through Delegate. There's a drop down menu um, and it's located at the very bottom. That if you go to transfer check, it offers you the option of reviewing and reading all the agreements that we have across, uh, you know, with different universities. So you would just select business administration from the drop down and it will produce all of our agreements. So you can look at the specifics like what's your minimum GPA to transfer? Um, is there any scholarship money associated with transferring if you have a higher GPA? Um, and so students, this is a great place to start. And then they could maybe go on to the four-year school's website and search a little bit more about the different degrees that they offer. Well, transfer check it is. Because yeah. we do students use uh, Delegate and Canvas on a regular basis. I didn't know about transfer check. And I think yeah, that's awesome the next cool. stop in exploring the tools at Delegate. That's for sure. Definitely, definitely. Moving on to the next question. Um, what opportunities does a student hold once he or she graduates with, you know, an associate degree in business administration? Yeah. So I, I, you know, I often tell students it is still the gold standard to have a bachelor's degree in business, right? It's not like computer science where you can have an associate's degree or you have years of coding experience and you can go get a job after your associate's degree. Um, it, in most cases, if you're looking for entry level positions at you know, corporations or organizations, they are still looking for that bachelor's degree, whether it be in marketing, accounting, finance. Um, and so what I often tell students who are unsure about the path that they want to take is to go to LinkedIn or go to Indeed and start to learn about some of these disciplines. What does somebody in an entry level marketing position do? And then conduct that research and figure out, is that something that you're interested in? If not, okay, move on to a different discipline. Um, and so in some ways, you kind of deconstruct the career and then map it back to what you're currently doing. It could help you choose your four-year school major as well. So um, I find that to be really helpful advice. And students kind of love the idea of searching for potential careers. It gets them excited about school and purpose and mission and all that. Well, I think career de deconstruction is the answer for all the, you know, yeah. queries for business administration student majors. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, I, I know we did discuss about concentrations in business administration major. Me also as a student, when I was exploring uh, different uh, universities or colleges with business administration major, I did know, notice that we had concentrations under it. 
and mm-hmm. it was quite a bit process of understanding what those concentrations are about what do i like and although i did end up with legal studies or business law as my concentration potentially sure. um how do we know which concentration we are interested in under the umbrella of business administration which is very very big yeah so it's a great question and again how 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 do you know you know unless there's somebody in your life that's working in a particular position that might have influence on you um and if so great but if not how, how do you know what to focus on or major in um and that's where i guide students toward you know going to local universities that you think you have an interest in transferring to and seeing what they offer you know you know yegna you 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 know depending on how you came to know that legal studies was going to be your focus maybe you took legal environment here at the college and thought like wow this would be a really cool pathway um to visit a university website go to their business page and learn about the different majors read the different types of courses that you would take if you were in that major um and really think and process and do the lifting to see does this does this match with your strengths and your interests um so again kind of like reverse engineer back to your time at Delaware County and then the path forward well i i do connect with that to be frank with you because when i did discuss with my uh, business professors about which concentrations i should take up they did suggest that you know i should look into colleges websites and you know study all those major concentrations and actually understand them before making a decision sure. and i think yeah i i found out what i'm passionate about so it's it's an exciting process that's for sure although it, it can be overwhelming with the college search yeah um well lastly Sure. What advice would you give to DCCC students majoring in business administration? Yeah, so my my biggest piece of advice would be um first to to lean on your professors at Delaware County Community College. Um we all hold office hours. Um when I think about business uh you know administration uh, professors, I think that you know you generally have access to you know people that have graduated from excellent universities in a variety of disciplines and who have worked for a variety of corporations like Vanguard and Johnson and Johnson. And so lean on them, right? Visit them during office hours. Come up with a list of questions, get their advice on, you know, which career path makes sense or which transfer school makes sense in their experience. So that would be my first piece of advice. And then secondly would be to utilize all the resources that Delaware County is offering for free access tutoring if you're struggling in accounting, get a, you know, get a writing tutor if you're struggling with your papers in English comp, um, because these resources are free, these services are free. So why not take them and optimize your experience in your time here? I think uh, I, I should back up with your claim because, um, you know, I did use Brain Fuse and Writing Center for my papers, my English papers and a lot of papers. And I think it was incredible to use those opportunities. A, as you mentioned, they are free, and B, yes. it gives a lot of insights and feedback, and it's it's incredible to learn new things and understand where we lack and what we could do. And even tutoring is another thing that I I tend to lean on a lot when I you know when it's difficult, sure. uh, you know, with classes and all the professors are incredible. Tutoring is something which we can back up and have a plan B as, and I I I think those two are definitely something that each student out there at delco should consider utilizing and yeah. um but i think well it looks like that's all we have for today and yeah. um i was really enjoying this conversation but before we go i would like to ask your final thoughts yeah um i i just want to you know thank you yegna and also the new media lab for showcasing the business administration major there's a lot of students um you know who are going to benefit from learning about the differences in major um in among the majors and you know how how they can proceed uh, you know in their next step well yes thank you thank you so much professor donovan and thank you for our listeners and we're out you've been listening to this must be heard brought to you by the new media lab and the office of athletics and campus engagement Today's host and producer was Yegna Rangavachula. Our guest today was Professor Lauren Donovan. Our co-executive producers were Lushanda Stevens and Raymond Kors. Our production coordinator was Yegna Rangavachula. Lushanda Stevens and Raymond Kors edited our episode and Shark John Ozjohn prepared our title cards. Victoria Colbreth and Samuel Larson designed our cover art. Indigo Frazier composed our theme music. 
and I am Andrew Wolfie, your announcer for this episode. Special thanks to the Director of Athletics and Campus Engagement, Allison Gleason, and to our faculty advisor, Professor Maria Boyd. If you are interested in participating in the New Media Lab, contact the Office of Athletics and Campus Engagement or reach out to us on Instagram at DCCC underscore New Media Lab. Be sure to like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks again for listening.